All right, so we're gonna try to uh, clean the multifunction switch rather than replacing it. Uh, if you're not sure how to get the uh, covering, the cowling off the steering column, um, there are many other videos which show how to do the removal. I'm just gonna skip through that part. Uh, there are basically three screws underneath here. I've got uh, an 05 3500 Dodge Ram uh, with the Cummins diesel. And um, the one difference between the other videos I saw was that um, this lever here is for your tilt steering. And many show a screw right behind it that you remove. Uh, mine did not have that. I had to uh, turn this downwards and then when it was downwards basically pull the cover off with just brute force and eventually just popped off and went flying out of my hand. Um, and it just basically you just push down and kind of towards the steering wheel and it kind of pops off like that. Um, and then make sure your steering wheel is turned all the way to the left so you can access these two Phillips screws here. My headlamp is creating a shadow here. And then uh, you see this tab is all that's holding this in once these screws are removed. Just get a screwdriver oh, under this lip here and, uh, and then the whole thing slides out as long as you have disconnected the power here. So that just pops back and pops out. Um, okay. All right, so we got the multifunction switch out of the truck and we are now going to try to clean it. And I haven't seen a video on this yet online, so we thought we'd make a video of this part of it. If you want to see how to get it out of the truck, there's many other videos on YouTube. Um, so we also have some electronic cleaner here, and we have some dielectric grease to put back on after we take it apart and clean it. So we'll see about how to get this apart now. Um, I can see there are tabs on the side there, the gray tabs. And then on the back side, there's also three uh, Torx bolts. So we're gonna read some tutorials on the forum and take it apart in a second. Okay. All right, so we have three uh, T8 Torx screws here. So I've already backed those off. I'll take those out now. And now there's a few tabs here should be I need to get this open. Okay. And then another couple on this side. Gently do this so you don't break it. And is that it? That's it. And then no, it looks like there's kind of sticking on this side. There we go. Okay, so definitely looks a little dirty in here, but not too bad. This is all black. Anyways, we're going to clean it, put some new grease in there, put it back together, and uh, all that gunk out of there, hopefully it'll work again. Okay, so I was just uh, going to clean it and look at the other side and I flipped it over and out fell a piece. Um, so this uh, has two contacts on it and this uh, piece locks into a moving part inside here. So I turned this all the way to the left, stuck it in there all the way to the side here and you can see that it turns all the way from one side to the other so as long as you hold it in there and that will control the speed of the wipers which connects to this contact here which is all gummed up and um, our wipers have been having problems sometimes they go on and off and they don't stop in the right spot and things like that so um, it's a good chance that that's the problem so anyways if that falls out when you're cleaning it just reset it, reset it all the way to the left Put it in there and make sure you get full travel. Okay. Okay, I'm outside now um, because I'm using this cleaner and it's, it's kind of smelly. Should use in a ventilated area. Um, and I've cleaned this now. You can see I, I use Q-tips. Uh, you can see the tips of them are very black. So I just 
basically sprayed a clean one um, and then I just wiped the spots, the contacts, where it was black and uh, without the cleaning solution, without the uh, QD electronic cleaner, um, it just kind of smudged it around so the cleaner helps a lot and I didn't want to spray directly on the board because it might puddle underneath. I mean it dries really quick. Um, so now I need to put some dielectric grease back on here to protect these as they are sliding frequently and I don't want uh, you don't want them to wear wear down. So I'll put a little bit of that again on um, probably with my finger um, just because the q-tip might leave some hair on it. So I'll do that and uh, and then we'll put it back together. Okay I've got a little bit of the uh, grease over here. Just get a little of my finger and then just uh, kind of smear it on here. Now a r proper mechanic would know how much to put on and probably how to apply it but I'm just going to put on a nice coating and there we go. So I've already done the other the other one, two, three. Oh, in the middle here too as well. Put that on there and uh, and we'll carefully put it all back together and see what happens. I'm also going to clean uh, the contacts on this end just with a, again, a, a Q-tip that's been soaked in the solution. All these switches are kind of loose, so you don't want them to fall out. So I've uh, slid the switch, multifunction switch, back in. Uh, I got the screws back in, the wire connected, and we're turned on. And. Uh, Right signal's working again, left signal's working, the uh, wiper delay, which wasn't working, is now working, and uh, it, there we go, and speed one and speed two. And then we also got the other last part, the four ways, and they're all working as well. So looks like success, at least for now, hopefully this repair holds up. All right.